Hi guys, so today we're looking at two products. This is the Premark Pro Makeup Brush Cleaning Spray. This is my kind of go-to every day for freshening up my foundation brushes. It's £2 for 100ml. And also the It Cosmetics It's Your Brush Love Brush Cleaner. £15 for 100ml. But it does say that it has collagen, peptides and vitamins A, C and E. Not that I think it's really going to be transferring to my skin like that, but anyway. These obviously are intended to do the exact same thing. They're meant to be a very quick clean of your brush that dries fast. This one's obviously significantly more expensive. So I wanted to have a look at how they worked kind of side by side. So I have two Nanshi buffer brushes. Uh, which have been used for the same foundation combination. Um, yeah, one still looks slightly dirtier than the other, but I swear they've been used for the same thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is see how many sprays it takes to get the brush kind of damp, and then I'm going to like clean them side by side, see how long it takes for them to look nice and clean, and then also see how quickly they dry afterwards. So, oops. Let's just open up the It Cosmetics. So both of them are the same, that you spray them directly onto the brush. And yeah, so let me see. Oh, I can feel it coming now. Right. So that's a very fine mess in the fact I feel like some of that got onto the Primark one. Whereas this one has a much more powerful mister. I feel like more product comes out. But we'll see. Um, so guys I've just completely muddled up which brush was which um, no I'm kidding so it's easy for me to tell which one was which because the Primark spray was so much heavier that actually that brush is cleaner and has left way more this is the Primark side and this is the it cosmetics side. So that brush is, I would say they're actually equally dry feeling, um, but one of them is significantly cleaner. So let's give a few more. It smells really nice actually. Yeah, it smells nicer than the Primark one. So it definitely seems like you would l use less of the It Cosmetics ones in terms of how much is coming out per spray. Um, still just doesn't look quite as clean though. That would annoy me. So I've now went really, really close spraying it and it's getting a bit more kind of power to it. Okay, so it's kind of seeming like the formula might be really good on the it Cosmetics one, although I don't know if you'll see this, it's quite oily looking on my hand. The Primark one doesn't really do that for me. Um, so this has a really fine mister on it, but actually I don't think that's a good thing when it comes to brushes because it's not getting down in there to make contact with the product compared to the Premark one, which is just like powerful. That might not have worked as well as I wanted it to. Um, so yeah, I've been wanting to try this because people in boots that are selling it are telling how wonderful it is and how quickly your brushes dry, but actually now looking at them side by side, having spent £15 on this, I will be continuing to buy the £2 Premark one. If you feel that the skincare properties in this brush cleaner are going to add to your skincare routine, go on, pay that money, you buy it. But personally, I will be buying the £2 option again, 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 and again. So there's no point spending my extra money, guys. If you get any questions, leave them down below. I know this was a really quick one. I'm sorry. Life has got in the way. So, 
yeah, if you've got any questions down below, any requests down below, and I am off to feed and walk the puppy. Bye guys.